Hey everyone, this is David Brown with the Migration Update for April 9th, 2025 from the Derby Hill Hawkwatch. Today there were light to moderate northwesterly winds, so the count was conducted from the south lookout, and it was really beautiful in the morning. You can see there was some sunshine, but if you look at these clouds out in front, this was a line of lake effect snow, and I think that was kind of cutting off the morning migration. This adult male northern harrier gave a nice look as it was hunting the farm fields surrounding the south lookout. And this American robin was perched up in nice lighting, so I took its photo too. And here's a turkey vulture that came through nice and low. That lake effect snow eventually shifted to cover us, and it snowed for about 45 minutes, but afterwards the sun came back out, and by the afternoon it was mostly sunny, but those cold northwesterly winds continued the rest of the day, so the flight was kind of slow overall. Here we have a buteo angled away from us. We see a dark belly band and we see dark patagial bars. This is an adult red-tailed hawk. And besides turkey vultures today, red tails were the main migrant. The local adult Cooper's hawk was out hunting and you can see it's really tucked in. And right after this photo, it tucked in and went down to the ground over by the farm. Here we have another adult red-tailed hawk. And you can see this one's a little bit more heavily marked with a bigger belly band and nice big thick patagial bars. It does have a pale throat though, so possibly a northern or maybe just a heavily marked eastern. Here's another buteo. Again, we see a belly band and dark patagial bars, so it's a red-tailed hawk, but we do not see that dark trailing edge to the wings. And we have more of a brownish tail with banding to it. This is a juvenile red-tailed hawk. Here we have a large, lanky, black and white raptor with very angular wings. This is an osprey. A dog walker came over to tell me that there was a medium-sized white bird dead along the road. So I'm going to show those photos now. If you don't want to see a dead bird, look away. Although there's no blood, it's not mangled at all, and it's kind of interesting, so you may want to look. She walked me over, and this is what we found. We have kind of a medium-sized white bird, just like she said. Some gray to the back and a brown stripe across the wings. We can see pink legs and feet and a whitish tail with a black tip. And we see a white head with a thin black bill. So this is actually a Bonaparte's gall, and this is the first year or immature plumage, so a bird born last year. I spread out the wings so you could see that pattern. We do have that brown stripe. And when this bird would be in flight with both wings spread, you kind of have a bit of a brown M to the top side of the wings and also a completely dark trailing edge to the wings. Both the primaries and secondaries have dark tips and that helps distinguish it from some other similar species such as little gall and black-legged kittiwake. Here's a close-up of the head and bill. You can see it's a very thin black bill. And you can see it does have some dark markings to the head, especially this dot behind the eye. Now, you may wonder how a Bonaparte skull ends up dead along the road a mile in from the lake. And I would suspect that what probably happened was yesterday with those really strong winds, a lot of galls were migrating into the wind and staying down low. And I would suspect that this bird probably got hit by a car as it was flying low and crossing the road into those extremely strong winds. So I don't think it's related to bird flu. I know that is a concern and you have to be careful about touching any dead birds. So I, I used caution when I was handling it. But I would suspect this bird probably got hit by a car. Taking a look at the eBird list, today we had 26 species. So not a very big day. Taking a look at the hawk count report for our migrant raptor totals. Today we had 129 turkey vultures, one osprey, three bald eagles, two northern harriers, and 10 red-tailed hawks for a total of 145 migrating raptors. That brings the April total to 7,210 and the season total to 25,513. Taking a look at the forecast for tomorrow, it's looking cloudy with periods of rain in the afternoon, a high in the low 40s, and winds east-southeast at 10 to 15 miles per hour. So that's a pretty good wind direction, and it's saying 10 to 15, but if you look at the hourly, it's more like 8 miles per hour and 7 miles per hour, so maybe a little bit weaker than we would ideally want. And that rain, it looks like it's going to hold off until the afternoon, so it should be dry in the morning and hopefully not too gloomy. I think we'll get some movement of birds. I would think that things like sharp-shinned hawks and kestrels will be on the move. I don't think it'll be a huge day. It's not really the type of weather system that's setting us up for the warm front, cold front combo like we sometimes get. But it is a decent wind, and I would imagine that some birds will be taking advantage of it. So I think it'll be an okay morning. Once that precipitation moves in in the afternoon, I think it'll probably shut things down. 
For Friday, we're looking at rain showers early and then overcast with the high in the mid 40s and similar winds east southeast at 10 to 15 miles per hour. So it's good winds, but it'll be gloomy again and we'll have to see the timing of that precipitation. So you may want to check back tomorrow, but not looking like a huge day for Friday. And for Saturday, we're looking at morning showers and then cloudy with a high in the mid 40s and light northerly winds. So we'll be down at the south lookout and probably only light migration, not looking like very favorable conditions, unfortunately, because I know there's a couple of field trip groups that we're planning to come out. All right, kind of a slow day out at the Hawk Watch today. If it wasn't for finding that dead Bonaparte skull, it would have been completely forgettable. But hopefully we'll have some better flights coming up with the southerly winds the next two days. Hopefully we get some movement, and then as we get into next week, I would think that the first time we get a nice southerly wind, we'll start to get some broad wing talks. So hope to see you out soon at Derby Hill. From Lyco Birds, this is David Brown. Thanks for watching.